good morning students hope you all are fine today we are reading chapter number 3 from geography that is motions of the earth the axis of the earth is an imaginary line which makes an angle of 66 half and a half degree with its orbital plane look at the figure this line shows an axis part of the earth which always to draw in dotted form it makes an angle of 66 and a half degree with its with its orbital plane orbital plane means the path in which earth is moving around the sun it is an imaginary line imaginary line means which can only be imagined which is not actually present is called imaginary line so the axis of the earth is an imaginary line which makes an angle of 66 and a half degree with its orbital plane the earth has two types of motions first motion is rotation and second motion is revolution rotation look at the ball this ball is in blue color blue color means blue color means ball considered as earth and earth is called a blue planet so question arises why the earth is called a blue planet blue planet because its three four part of the earth is covered with water or we can say due to the presence of water that's why earth is called a blue planet now come to the part of rotation it is the movement of the earth on its own axis look at the ball earth axis again the tilted part of the earth is axis means axis when the earth moves on its own axis that is this motion is called rotation it takes 24 hours to complete one rotation the movement of the earth on its own axis is called rotation it takes 24 hours to complete one rotation due to the spherical shape of the earth again look at the ball due to the spherical shape of the earth only half part of the earth gets light from the sun so students this lighted candle considered as sun and we have taken a ball as earth due to the spherical shape of the earth only half part of the earth gets light and other half part of the earth is dark the portion of the earth is facing the sun experiences day and the other half part of the earth which is away from the sun experiences night and this rotation causes day and night 
सर्कल ऑफ इल्यूमिनेशन द सर्कल दैट डिवाइड्स द डे फ्रॉम द नाइट ऑन द ग्लो लुक एट द फिगर दिस सर्कल विच मूव फ्रॉम नॉर्थ पोल टू साउथ पोल एंड दिस सर्कल मूव फ्रॉम ईस्ट टू वेस्ट सो दिस द सर्कल दैट डिवाइड्स द डे फ्रॉम द नाइट ऑन द ग्लोब इज कॉल्ड सर्कल ऑफ इल्यूमिनेशन रेवल्यूशन दिस इज सन दिस इज अर्थ द वेन द अर्थ मूव्स अराउंड द सन इज कॉल्ड रेवल्यूशन एंड इट टेक्स थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव डेज एंड सिक्स आवर्स टू कंप्लीट वन रेवल्यूशन रेवल्यूशन मूवमेंट ऑफ द अर्थ मूव अराउंड द सन इज कॉल्ड रेवल्यूशन एंड इट टेक्स थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव डेज एंड सिक्स आवर्स टू कंप्लीट वन रेवल्यूशन एज अर्थ टेक्स थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव डेज एंड सिक्स आवर्स टू कंप्लीट वन रेवल्यूशन अराउंड द सन फॉर कन्वीनियंस वी काउंट थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव डेज इन अ ईयर द रिमेनिंग सिक्स आवर्स द रिमेनिंग सिक्स आवर्स ऑफ एवरी ईयर ऑफ द रिमेनिंग सिक्स आवर्स ऑफ Every year are added to make are added to make one day over a span of four years. The year to which one day is added has three sixty six days, and it is called leap year. After three years, after every 3 years the fourth year makes the leap year revolution causes seasons there are four major seasons in india summer season winter season spring season autumn season summer season and winter season we consider in solstice means we can say summer solstice and winter solstice spring season and autumn season we consider in equinoxes as we say spring equinox and autumn equinox now see this diagram to understand the four season summer season winter season spring autumn we start from summer solstice 21st june represent summer solstice summer solstice summer solstice means the position of the earth when the northern hemisphere has longest day and shortest night the position of the earth in summer solstice in northern hemisphere has longest days and shortest night in southern hemisphere longest night and shortest days there are winter in southern hemisphere on the other side 22nd december represent winter solstice winter solstice means the position of the earth when southern hemisphere has long days and short nights and in northern hemisphere the days are short and nights are long in southern hemisphere in southern hemisphere
in southern hemisphere the days are long and short nights in northern hemisphere the days are short and nights are long 21st march and 23rd september represent equinoxes 21st march and 23rd september represent equinoxes equinoxes means when direct rays of the sun fall on the equator at this position the whole earth experiences equal days and night and it only occurs on 21st march and 23rd september on 21st march northern hemisphere experiences spring equinox and southern hemisphere experiences autumn equinox on the other hand on 23rd september northern hemisphere experiences autumn equinox and southern hemisphere experiences spring equinox for example june is going on and this is the time of summer solstice means summer season summer summer season in northern hemisphere after this after this in september means autumn season in northern hemisphere after this in december winter season will come in northern hemisphere and after this in march spring season will come in northern hemisphere so this revolution of the earth around the sun is called change in season is called is called change in seasons now this completes our chapter hope it is clear to you to you all thank you